Barnes Art. Today I bought this, which I've done on previous videos, this frame with the plexiglass, and we're going to resin the plexiglass. So this just pops right out. Kind of, kind of pops right out. There we go. I'm going to put this aside because we're going to use this at the end. I have the matting and this. We're going to throw this away. Now, this plexiglass is pretty thick. You can't bend it. So this is what you're looking for. Because that thin plexiglass, you cannot resin. It, it bends, it folds. You cannot resin that at all. Okay, so I am using Pro Marine Epoxy Resin, and it is mixed one to one. One part hardener to one part resin. And you will find that the resin part is thicker than the hardener, which I think it should be the other way around, but it's not, so I don't know. Strange to me. Okay, so I'm mixing my resin up, and then I'm going to get my colors out. And we'll go from there. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is, um, I got my colors together. I got white, brown. Actually, I got copper penny, mica, brown ink from Resin Obsession, red from Cutter Cottage, and white paste from Larez. Never tried this before, I'm gonna try it today. I only used a little tiny dot of that in that big cup of resin and it really concentrated. You're gonna need a little bit. Good stuff. Okay, so right now I have this plexiglass, like I said. It's like, it feels like half glass, half plastic, you know, but it's pretty thick. So I wanna actually just Pour my colors on here. Now this brown's pretty concentrated also. It almost looks black until you smear it around then you can see that it is brown. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you. You want to tape the bottom of this usually. I forgot. Because if you get drips, it won't fit back in the frame. So what I'm going to have to do now is like every 15 minutes for like the next hour, I'm going to have to make sure I scrape the bottom so there ain't no drips. This red's popping, ain't it? It's pretty. Red, brown, and white. I'm always asking everybody, like, you know, what color's your house? To get color ideas. Um, I never know what colors to do. I don't want to keep doing the same colors, and I need different ideas. So I keep asking people, like, hey, help me out. I want a lot of red in this one. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm probably going to blend these colors together anyway. This is the copper penny. It's pretty. It looks like a copper penny. Shimmery. A little heavy up here.
And here's the white paste. It's pretty concentrated. I really like this. Actually, I like it a lot. I heard good things about Larez. Actually, you know what? Put some copper penny down here. Now, my colors aren't flowing as good as they normally do because I didn't put a clear coat of resin on there. Oh, got some white in there. That's all right. It's going to blend in anyway. So I'm just drizzling this wherever I think it will look good. So when you do your resin art, you can get creative and do your own thing. Okay. Now I want some more red. Popping red. That's some popping red. I like it. Okay, I'm going to heat this up. Now with the plexiglass, I don't want to heat it up too much because I can actually crack it. I mean, it's really hard to crack plexiglass, even with a lot of heat. So I'm not going to turn my heat up to high. dark brown right here. A little bit since we need something. We need some popping something. There we go. Oh, maybe that's a little bit. getting a lot of cells and you know why because the white paste is thicker than the other colors so whenever you get different consistency in colors it creates cells so if anybody ever wonders why you get cells and why you don't that's exactly why if you have different consistencies in colors and in pigments you will definitely get cells And I want this painting to just look like a big ball of fluid just flowing around. That's actually what got me into um, resin painting is this guy's work that I saw on YouTube. And it just looked like so much movement. And, I, and I, I'm obsessed with that. It's so pretty. To me, it's just beautiful.
And I like the color on top of color on top of color. I think it's pretty. And you want to use your heat gun like a paintbrush. You want to be able to move it and manipulate the colors a little bit. But with resin, they will manipulate you. <laughs> no matter how hard you try. I have a face mask on, you guys, so if I sound a little crazy, that's definitely why. Okay, that's going to cool. So, I'm going to let this cool for a second. Just when I let it cool, so. Okay, so I mixed up in the spray bottle some of this Color Cottage Gold Fever. Now, this is like, it looks like real gold. It is so glittery and pretty and sparkly. I mixed up a little bit of that into the spray bottle, as you can see, just a little bit, with rubbing alcohol. 70%. You can use whatever percentage you want in here. It's just a little bit of gold glitter. And I just want to hit it here and there. And what the alcohol is going to do, the alcohol is going to get my paint apart. I don't know if you can see the movement of it. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so if you use 91% alcohol, you get real big cells real fast. I only used 70% because I didn't want to really get too many. And the gold is blinging. It really is. It's pretty. That's my buddy Duke drinking water in the background. All right, I'm going to bring the camera down so you guys can see what's going on. See that big red cell and the little cells that are going on? That's from the alcohol and the gold. Juicy, you thirsty? I wish you guys could see the glitter. See a little bit here, but not really too much. There you go. You can see it there. Pretty amazing. I like it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Give me your comments. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.